Azadal's armor is an indispensable set of equipment for enchanters due to Azadal's genius, an effect that increases your enchanting skill by 10 when wearing exactly 4 of the artifacts. Unfortunately, it's also locked behind one of the most annoying quests in the game, requiring you to wait nearly 300 hours for the courier to deliver letters between the quest stages. But by using bugs, you're able to skip the entire quest and collect all of Azadal's armor, plus filament and filigree. To begin, you will need a one-handed weapon and a horse. Find a rock that has a steep incline, such that your horse can walk off of it and stand at a near 90 degree angle. Then make a save near that rock and continue on to Solstheim. Once there, collect at least 10 Netch Jelly. You technically only need 6, but it's better to be on the safe side since there are some difficult clips. Back at Raven Rock, find any crafting station. I'll be using the Alchemy Lab in front of the Ienth Farm. You'll want to quick save here because the next part is easy to mess up. Go into first person, look at the crafting station, and hold the interact button. Then release interact and open the pause menu in quick succession. If the camera switched to third person and you're able to save, make a save. Otherwise, try again. Once you've made that save, reload to your horse save. Walk your horse over the edge of the rock until it's sufficiently tilted, dismount, and pause your game before your character leaves the screen. This should ensure that your speed isn't high enough to get stuck in the world border. Now reload the crafting station save. What we just performed is called ethereal tilting, or ghost tilting. It differs from normal horse tilting in that you are locked at the height of the crafting station and can pass through terrain and objects. This is useful because it bypasses the up warp that usually happens when going underground. You want to get as close to the barrow as possible, then switch to first person to cancel your momentum but we're just short of reaching the door. Eating a Netch Jelly will paralyze you and instantly upwarp to the entrance. The door is unlocked, so you can head right on in. Dispatching the Draugr in the first room will make things much easier, and also allows you to recruit Rallis later. Otherwise, he'll start fighting the Draugr on his way back, and the quest will require you to kill him. Once they're taken care of, remove the skull from its pedestal to open the door, and grab this shield in the west corner of the room. Carry it over to the gap on the other side of the door and quick save. Jump across, holding the shield beneath you, and spam jump to jump off the shield. This will give you the extra distance you need to cross the gap and retrieve the boots of water walking. Head around the pillar and you'll be met with a closed gate. You can get past this by attacking with your one-handed weapon in the offhand, then eating Netch Jelly to paralyze yourself while your model is through the door. Once your character recovers, you should be on the other side. First, turn to the right and pull the lever hidden behind the divider. This will reveal the Ring of Necromancy. Then turn around and head for the stairs. The gate will close on you before you can get in, so jelly clip again to get past it. Keep right until you reach a stone door. Pull the lever on the right, then go through and pull the lever on the left. Ignore the third lever. Instead, go up to the left side of this stone door and use a power attack to move your model even further. Paralyze yourself when you're as far in as you can go. This could take a couple tries, so you may want to quick save. Once on the other side, you can take the gauntlets of warding. Now go back to the west corner where the door meets the wall. But instead of clipping back to the other side, aim more towards the wall. If done correctly, this should push you out of bounds, and you can run onto this half-visible staircase. Follow it down to the room below, and walk next to the east door so it closes. Complete the puzzle with two whales to unlock the gate that holds the Armor of Retribution. Then do two hawks to open the other two doors. We're not going down to Azadal just yet. Instead, walk through this pile of rubble, and continue up the stairs to enter the Ring of Arcana's puzzle room. You could clip through the gate or do the puzzle normally. Then follow the intended path until you get back to the main chamber. Upon inspecting the word wall, you'll notice a gaping hole beneath it. Jumping straight in will lead you to the black book room where you can grab filament and filigree. Once you exit Apocrypha, go to the gate opposite the lectern and activate the chain from outside. This will open the path to the Azadal boss room. You just need to jelly clip through the coffin on the other end. Now walk through the door to get to the puzzle, the answer to which is two snakes. That gives you the Helm of Vision, and now all that's left is Azadal's mask. To start the boss fight, walk about halfway up the stairs to the northeast. Once you hear him spawn, you can go back to the chamber and kill him. Assuming you cleared out the Draugr in the beginning, you can wait an hour for Rallus to arrive and complete the quest. 
and to leave the barrow, go back to the word wall and walk out the hole to the north. You'll fall into the void and be reset to the entrance. Now you know how to get Azadol's genius without paying a septum. Except for the boat ride to Solstheim, I suppose. Although, you could load warp to Solstheim to get the gold back. If you want to learn a method of load warping, be sure to check out this video where I explained the dead loading bug. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.